Welcome, welcome friends. Welcome to Mount Dora. My name is Doc with Mount Dora Ghost Tours. I'll be your ghost host this evening. Welcome to my home, the Donnelly House. The Donnelly House was built in 1893 by JP and Annie Donnelly. Annie died upstairs April 6th, 1908 of influenza in what used to be the old master chambers. And with that introduction, you begin a two hour walking tour of haunted history and macabre mysteries with Doc, your ghost host on the Mount Dora Ghost Tour. Spooky? You bet, but family friendly too. The tour offers 15 stops, the second one at Lakeside Inn. Mount Dora is named after this lake, Lake Dora. It's over 4,000 acres in size. Legend says that U.S. geological surveyors came to this area and stayed on the property of a homestead owned by Dora Ann Drotty. Her hospitality was so impressive that the U.S. surveyors decided to name this lake after her, and the town would follow suit, naming it Mount Dora years later. The popularity of the lake was the impetus for building the first hotel in town, what is today the oldest continuously operated hotel in the state of Florida, the Lakeside Inn. Let's take a look. The Lakeside Inn was built in 1883, 139 years ago. We've uncovered 22 deaths and disappearances which have occurred here since that time. In 1885, a nine-year-old girl named Amy went missing from the hotel. She was never seen alive again. This picture is said to depict her ghost. During the Prohibition era, the hotel's basement served as the speakeasy for the locals and visitors. It was called the Kumquat Lounge, and you would enter it through a trap door that was in the floor here in the basement. If you look, you can see the outline for the old trap door. Tours are $25 per person, offered year-round. Ghost hunting and a pub crawl are separate packages. Reservations required for all experiences, and you can book them here at MountDoraGhostTours.com. In Lake County, David Martin, Fox 35. 